Hi, if you're like me, you'll be watching what's going on at the moment with an increasing level of amusement. You have the mirror image parties, the Greens and ACT, both becoming more and more extreme in their prescription for New Zealand's future. ACT wants to cut every tax imaginable, cut government spending back to the bone and produce nirvana that way. The Greens aren't that much different, they're just at the other end of the spectrum. They want increased taxes, they want capital gains taxes, resource taxes, carbon taxes, uh, all sorts of other additional taxes, an earthquake levy for Christchurch that would only be selectively applied for instance, and they want more spending. But most New Zealanders looking at their household budgets and the country's balance sheet at the moment know that actually both prescriptions are equally extreme. We face tremendous challenges. There are rising costs of living. There are challenges about how we afford big social programs like Working for Families, KiwiSaver, student loans. What people are looking for is not slash and burn. They don't want to pay taxes. After all, their household budgets are already stretched to breaking point in some cases. But they want to see a balanced way through this situation. And I think that looking at the mix of tax and spending, the social assistance programs, the government's borrowing program, that really is all part of the strategy about where we go over the next 15 to 20 years. Add to that the consequences of $20 billion of damage and two massive Christchurch earthquakes, and it makes the government's room to move very limited. So what I think most people will be looking to in the wake of the budget is, OK, changes have to be made, there have to be some trimming of sails around the edges, but does this give us a better sense of direction moving forward? And I think the answer will be yes. I think people will be saying, we don't need to go down those extreme paths. We don't need more spending, more taxes, and we certainly don't need a return to slash and burn policies of the past. Now, the assurance to give people that confidence that that middle of the way path is going to be navigated comes in bolstering the current government's uh, strength in that area, and that comes from a party like United Future. It's as simple as that. It's a repetitive message, I know, but it's a true one. We do not get ourselves ahead as a country by lurching from one direction to the other simply because that's the prevailing mood of the day as politicians perceive it. We make progress, steady as she goes, moving ahead in terms of the country's ability to cope and making sure that as we do so, most people are carried with us and where there are people who are vulnerable, then there are circumstances targeted to meet their needs. It's a simple equation, it's an old equation, but it's a proven equation and it's just what New Zealand needs right now in these extraordinarily troubled times. It certainly does not need to go running off in extreme directions all over again because all that does is invite a reaction at some point in the future and haven't we had too much of that in the last two decades? I think so.